Lately, it seems like every time you ask someone about their vacation, what you hear about is how their flight was delayed or canceled. Between worker shortages and a record number of people flying, many airlines are warning that the problem could get even worse. To protect yourself when traveling, you need to know your passenger rights. And that's our featured story at the top of the list. Tonight, hundreds of flights are canceled, stranding flyers nationwide. For the third day in a row, airlines are canceling flights all across the country. More than 2,000 flights axed just since yesterday. Flight cancellations and delays hurt travel plans, but they shouldn't punish your pocketbook. It is guaranteed under federal law that the airline owes it to you. Scott Kyes of Scott's Cheap Flights walks us through federal laws that protect airline passengers, starting with you can ask for cash in instead of a travel voucher. Under federal law, if an airline cancels or significantly changes your flight, you're entitled to a full cash refund. If you want to opt out of the airline voucher and get your money back instead, you may have to call their customer service. And if they give you any guff? Travelers and consumers should go ahead and complain to the Department of Transportation because they have an enforcement office to make sure that travelers are getting the refunds that they are owed under federal law. Next on our list of passenger rights, if you're involuntarily delayed for more than two hours, you're getting paid. When you get bumped against your will, you're entitled to up to $1,550 in cash refund. And for a one to two hour involuntary bump, customers can get up to 775 bucks by law. That's less of a maximum and more of a minimum these days in terms of compensation. In Michigan, Delta Airlines recently offered $10,000 to eight passengers each who were willing to take a voluntary bump. Be the eager beaver, get to the front of the line, but declare that you would like to be given a voucher for the same amount as whoever the last volunteer is. Willis Orlando, a senior flight expert with Scott's Cheap Flights, says if you get bumped, don't stop with money, shoot for the sky. Ask for other things that they might be able to give you, such as lounge access, maybe an upgrade in the next flight, or request that they put you up in a hotel. Same thing with meals, like request meal, meal vouchers. Very often the airlines will be happy to give you a meal voucher. And the final passenger right is the 24 hour rule. Under federal law, from the moment you hit purchase, you're entitled to a 24 hour grace period during which you can cancel that purchase and get a full cash refund if you would like. Since prices fluctuate quickly, this rule allows you to jump on and lock in a cheap rate before checking your calendar or with a travel partner. There two caveats here. One is that you have to book directly with an airline. And two is that it has to be at least a week out from your flight. Airline rules to let passengers fly high are at the top of our list.